Hello everyone, Kirith here, and yes, we're back to the Aston Martin 177. We won this car in a six-star roulette. It looks incredible. It drives absolutely atrociously. It's the worst car I've ever driven. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to fix it. We're going to take it to the workshop. We're going to tune it up. We're going to buy every single performance part we can. That's going to increase the drivability of this. And then we're going to aesthetically mod it. We're going to make it wide. We're going to add the rims. We're going to turn it into a bona fide GT3 racing car. And we're going to take this absolute pig, the Aston Martin 177. And we're going to see if we can compete in an actual GT3 field. So here we go. Here's what it looks like. I've done a little livery as well. You can see we've got the wide arches. We've got the 20 inch rims, wide rims as well. Do you think this is going to cut it in a GT3 race? Let's find out. So we're starting from the back at Suzuka. There is so much torque in this car. I had to really work with the gears, really lengthen them. This is basically a three gear car. Now you're going to see here, we're going to get brutally cut up by the Jaguar here. The F-Type is going to cut us up. So naturally we're going to do an absolute fatality. Absolutely ripped the Jaguar there. Taking no prisoners, the Aston Martin Jaguar rivalry as strong as ever. So we're going into the SS now. Now this 177, it has the power, it has more power than GT3 cars. It has an absolutely ridiculous naturally aspirated engine. And we've got a great drivetrain going through it now. But what we don't have really is the downforce. We don't really have the same downforce as GT3 cars. So I put a big wang on it. I've added quite a bit of downforce to the rear. Um, but you can see here, it's just going to lose grip in these kind of me well, kind of medium to high speed corners. So that's where this car really struggles. Where it's great at is it has so much power, it can really pick up speed. It picks up so much speed going into braking zones. You can catch cars out. So you can see here, going into the hairpin, in the last phase, we kind of have so much speed, we can think about going up the inside and, oh, I can't quite get it done. We'll definitely see here going into spoon. So slow acceleration, but the phase here, into third gear, which is such a workhorse gear in this car, it kind of just literally does everything. And you can see just how much ground we're making up on the GT3. So, yeah, it doesn't have the downfalls of GT3. So it doesn't quite have a handling. As we go a little bit wider speed, we can get that position up. But it's kind of competing, to be honest. Now, a big straight like this is where it's really going to shine. It's an absolute rocket in a straight line. Up to third gear, around, I guess, 120 miles an hour. You can stay in third gear till, I guess, probably 200. Shifting up at 190 there and then coming back down. So, yeah, third gear is absolutely mental. I thought I'd kind of limit the gears in this car to prevent losing time, upshifting, etc. But whoa, trying to go up the inside there of the AMG behind us. Just about to do it now side by side with the Corvette. There's only one more lap to go in this race. It's a two lap race against professional difficulty AI at Suzuka. We haven't got any assist in this thing. You think I've moved the brake ballast to the front, trying to get this thing stopped as quickly as possible. And this is where it just blows by the opposition. So that overtake on the Audi was only really possible because we were able to pick up so much speed going into the braking zone. It's quite an aggressive car to drive in that way in a race. You can really kind of push it into the braking zone, get ahead, and then you kind of, you see the GT3 car coming back at you because they've got better brakes. We went for the slotted disc in this, didn't go for the ceramic disc, which I've covered in the previous video. I still don't think it has the same stopping ability as the GT3 cars around us. That partly might be down to it coming into the braking zone at a higher speed. You'll see here, we're picking our speed now. Are we going to get ahead of the AMG? Oh, just about. So you can see going into the braking zone, a little bit of a messy move. We just about got ahead. So quite an interesting dynamic if you want to do this as well at home. Uh, race this car against GT3 cars. It's going to be difficult to win this race. Seven seconds to the leader, but we see the M6 here and the RCZ look like a fair game. Struggle to get around the hairpin, trying to deploy the throttle very gingerly. You can see only at full throttle when we get to about 90 miles an hour, I think. A little bit of a rough overtake there on the RCZ, but we get it done. Now, are we going to be able to catch up with the front three? Don't rule it out. This car is an absolute beast down the straight. So we will see. Going into Spoon here, trying to get to the outside and then clip a late apex. The car doesn't really want to turn in, but it definitely handles better than before. I mean, this car was so poor before. I think it's because they put these cars on um, sports tyres, not racing tyres. It's just not the right tyres for these cars. They've got so much power. 
the uh, sport tires can't really handle them. Are we going to go off the track here? Or oh, maybe just about keeping it on. It looks like a, there's a Viper ahead of us. We're going to struggle here to, to pass him. But I think, I think it's fair to say that we have held our own here in the GT3 class. So let me know if you want me to see me do more with this car, with the 177. Is there anything else we can do with it? Can we tune it even better? Can we make it a really nice handling car? I'm kind of interested by this car because I wrote it off as soon as I started driving it, but maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe this is Gran Turismo. We take this car, we make a livery, we tune it up, we understand the characteristics and we have a lot of fun with it. So do let me know in the comments. But otherwise, the saga with the 177 continues.